Hello, I'm with Michael Cosgrove of the Lofts Agency and he's just going to talk us through the life cycle of the salmon because we're next to the river Fochen and we've been looking at the Fochen from source to sea. So Michael, will you tell us about uh, the salmon please and the life cycle? Uh, it begins up on the mountain streams. Uh, the female salmon, she'll, she'll have travelled thousands of miles after nine months of not eating anything from the North Atlantic Ocean, uh, getting past all sorts of predators and all sorts of different things like the barriers and around the river system itself. Uh, so we get to a spot not far away from where she was actually born. She'll lay uh, about 8,000 eggs, usually from the average size of the salmon, so about 8 or 9 pounds, she'll lay about 8,000 eggs uh, into a nest called a red, uh, which is a circular pit that she's dug into the gravel of the river. Uh, then she'll bury the eggs in, in more gravel from uh, just a wee bit further upstream. Usually they, they die uh, shortly after they've uh, finished laying their eggs due to complete exhaustion and then their immune system's not, not working anymore. Uh, the eggs then will take about a month to develop uh, and they'll hatch out and day what's called alvin, which is a very small fish with a, a yolk sac attached to it. The yolk sac will have lots of nutrients uh, for the fish to kind of feed off. Uh, once they've uh, fed off all that yolk sac, they become fry and they leave the nest. So they squeeze out from underneath the gravel and they'll spread out into the rivers and streams. They find their own territory in which they'll, they'll protect them uh, from other fry and other fish, uh, where they'll feed on insects and invertebrates of different, uh, different sorts. Uh, that'll keep them going for about two years and they'll go from being a fry to a par. And the par will be about the size of the length of an adult's hand. After that two years of uh, feeding, They'll uh, go through a, a process called smolting, which is uh, where they're, they're, they'll go from a, a very kind of dark brownish colour, looking like a small trout, to a very silvery colour, and then they'll begin to move downstream uh, into the larger rivers, like the River Fahan right now. Uh, and this will happen around May time. Uh, they'll leave uh, the rivers and go out into locked oil, uh, into this, the saline environment, uh, where their bodies will adjust to the, the additional salt in the water, uh, where their kidneys and their livers go in the overdrive. Uh, and then they'll 